Hello YouTube, this is King Scrab and thank you for watching this YouTube video. Right, so I've been seeing some of the feminists and they've been doing this for quite some time, talking about people staring at them, you know, as if they are raping them with their eyes. And I think I have actually hit upon this subject before, but I want to delve a little bit more deeply into this because, you know, I want to ride it a little bit, have a good time in it in a bit. <laughs> so, this is the problem that right? we've got a culture at the moment of insane feminists and we've got a culture of blokes who believe that they are feminists too but probably because you know they want to be accepted there so they can you know find some feminist who's busy to you know you know take home with them <laughs> I don't know how this actually works but the problem is these feminists at the moment are talking about so trivial things in nature like, you know, catcalling. I mean, I want to see proper catcalling now. It's, it's, not, it's not creative anymore. I want to see somebody in a car with a big fucking megaphone beeping the horn and catcalling out the window with a full, full blast on the megaphone. Come on, love. Come on. Hip hop, hip hop. Run. Run! Wiggle those! Wiggle those! Come on! Wiggle your ass! <laughs> I want to say that coming from uh, some YouTube channel. I mean, nobody's dared to do it at the moment, but yeah, uh, some females have done the video of uh, asking some men if they want their cock sucked. Uh, that's okay, but if I went around asking if I could suck their nipples, uh, it would actually be a big problem. Well, I think some of the blokes would actually find it kind of funny if I asked them. <laughs> I'm talking about the women in general. You know, they, it's okay for them to do one thing and uh, men can't do the same thing because that's, you know, double standards and they can't have uh, men having uh, freedom of choice. Uh, but anyway, we're talking about stir rape, right? We are in a pandemic at the moment of a zombie apocalypse. That's the only way I could actually describe it. A zombie apocalypse where people lose their mind where people lose their soul and where people just don't think at all. They, they cannot think clearly about anything. They take things as fact all the time. If somebody just explains some nonsense to them, they actually lap it up as long as it's somebody who's an authoritative figure. Uh, but this stir rape thing, when you actually look at when they're talking about people looking at their ass or, you know, holding the door open and looking at their tits or something as if it's a, a big deal, um, it's, it goes a little bit too far when they start saying, oh my God, this has to be stopped. What do you expect to happen? Do you expect these people to be put in jail for just checking out your ass or your tits or whatever? I mean, it goes a little bit too far, doesn't it? And I think sometimes people, especially some of the feminists, the crazy ones out there, they imagine things happening. They, they actually imagine things happening. I've had uh, some weird feminists actually uh, leave sly remarks at times. Uh, when I was younger, somebody uh, said, Oh, stop looking at me. I wasn't looking at you, you dumb... <laughs> I was going to say bitch. But I wasn't looking at her. I was looking at the fucking sweets, the candy store behind her, and I wanted to get some, but I wasn't actually looking at her anyway. But they, they're crazy. These people are nuts. And they, they go crazy about nothing. They whinge and moan about things that we can't even do anything about. How are we supposed to do anything about people checking other people's asses out? I mean, are we really going to get into physical confrontations with other men because women want us to? Because women want us all to act like fucking idiots? I mean, let's put it bluntly. If the world went down the way feminists would want, uh, this world would be a really bad place to live, all right? Especially for men, and especially for women too. I mean, you're never going to find love in your life again. Uh, they, they, they don't want you to um, be around men, actually, thinking about it. A man can't ask you out on dinner. A man can't ask for you for a phone number. A man can't talk to you directly. And um, a man can't pursue you in any direction or whatever. They can't do anything. So in a way, there's no way for a man to actually meet a woman if the feminists get their own way. Well, down the population, I suppose, but uh, by doing so, uh, women would never actually find any love in their life, except with other women, except with other cults, who will condition them to think that they are victims. Who will condition them to think they're victims of so many trivial fucking BS that uh, it's, I'm surprised that even most women don't actually see through it. I think some of them actually do see through it, 
but it's a shame that uh, people actually fall for this sort of shit. <laughs> you know? I, I mean, I'm, when I'm looking around and I'm hearing w women complain about being looked at in their eyes or somebody looking at them uh, just for a few seconds, it, it baffles my mind and the only thing I can actually think of is stir rape. Because that's what they're complaining about really, isn't it? They're, they're complaining that the person's actually assaulted them sexually with their eyes. So, you know, they'll probably phone the police and say, he's, he's, he's done it with his eyes. He's done it with his eyes. He's, he's, he's undressed me with his eyes. And then, and then, do you know, the police actually came down and interviewed that woman. Uh, they would actually jot it down in their statistics as a rape statistic. That's where all the rape statistics come from. You know, the one in three women are raped uh, from these crazy-eyed feminists who, uh, you know, top up the figures. I mean, here's another one. This is beautiful, right? This uh, particular feminist from uh, Facebook, I think, uh, not Facebook, Everyday Sexism or something like that, uh, she dropped the uh, one in three women are raped or involved in domestic uh, abuse. She dropped the domestic abuse and just called, called it one in three women are raped. That shows you just how sneaky some of these people are. And I'm surprised that the, there's, there's women in those groups that could not see that for the scam it actually was. That's devious. It's so devious that I'm surprised that people with intelligence can't see it. Why can't you see that? You know, why, why would she actually drop the domestic abuse and just call it all rape? Because domestic abuse can actually range from anything from somebody just ignoring somebody once in their life. Or somebody just pushing somebody out the way. It doesn't, have, or even somebody just having an argument. A couple having an argument. That's domestic abuse. And then they drop the abuse and just call it violence instead. You know. So you know, one, one in three women are actually involved in a severe violence in their life, which is nonsense. It's nonsense. None of this actually is truthful. They are being so devious. Present themselves the way they actually do. <laughs> Just let me uh, drink this water. Mm. Yeah. When they present themselves the way they do, in the direction they are, you can always tell a cult. You can always identify a cult. Because sooner or later you will see their tactics. You'll see little things with the language skills they use uh, to top up how how hurt other people are within the group, how they should not trust society. And this is what the feminist movement is actually doing. I'm seeing it, um, there's one particular story in the Everyday Sexism site where the, the leader of that site, the cult, the cult member, um, actually said that anybody who buys the Sunday sports should, uh, should be estranged from their family. Uh, she was actually promoting that. And I was looking out and was thinking, uh, hang on a minute, so are you actually saying that uh, people uh, like your father, your mother or whatever, who buy the Sunday sport, that you should actually tell them that you're never going to see them again just because of that, based on the fact that somebody from everyday sexism told you you should do that, so your loved ones, you should never see them again, that's cult mentality. Anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye for now. I thought I'd just actually mention this in the video. Because it is uh, an interesting topic. I'll probably expand on it a little bit more later. Alright, thank you for watching. Goodbye for now. I have to go.